notice it until I stood back. I so you're booked to talk you know to what? you. It looks like a liver. Yeah. Big isn't that, and I just yeah, had yeah, a, a liver yeah. transplant. Isn't that uncanny? Already. So that was a good sign. That was, that's uncanny. That, that was a good yeah. sign. We needed, we needed, we needed to see yeah. a sign yeah. like that to, to say yeah. the right track. Yeah, that's actually. So, um, so basically, you're doing this on your own with the help. Of, no, I, I mean the bear's <laughs> trying to. Oh, are you? Yeah. Oh, well. Yeah, we, we, we started off with a $1,200 big course. Yeah. Sure, so far it's cost 30000 I've lost them on a mini bike. So right? uh, In the rock, you know, I can't find it. Yeah. Of, uh, hotels, oh. food chains. Uh, you know, oh, that's great. You fellas up to do this right now then? Sure. Okay, yeah, let's yeah. step back from the vehicle so we can see a little bit of this. How do you want to? Uh, right over here. What do you want me to? Uh, just, I want, okay, just, we're going to still shoot that intro that we talked about. Yeah, we'll do that so, after. So what you're just going to say is just start with, right with, with yours. With me now. Yeah, you now. Yeah, you know, talking about the Okay, right. There you go. Okay, let's uh, got it. Okay, three, two, one. With me now in uh, Collingwood, outside of the Y, is uh, liver transplant recipient George Marcello. George, thanks for taking the time uh, from your busy no schedule problem. to be with us. Uh, maybe you can tell uh, the audience about your uh, step by step. 2000k walk and what it's all about. Um, my 2000 uh, kilometer walk is, is about uh, saying thank you uh, to the uh, donor and the donor family and all the donors and donor families that have uh, donated their loved one's organs so others may live. Uh, basically that was my uh, desire to do that and uh, I'm hoping that I can address the critical shortage of organ and tissue donations in Canada which, by the way, is and has been the lowest in the civilized world for the last 14 years now. And that's, uh, that's kind of hard to imagine with the number of people that uh, are living in this country. Yes, absolutely. Uh, right now, we have over 3,300 people that are on the waiting list. Uh, if this trend continues, uh, over 1,000 will pass away waiting for a life-saving organ. Uh, you know, once again, are the lowest other countries such as Spain are enjoying a much more successful rate of uh, uh, organ donations and, and more lives are being saved. Uh, so we're hoping to uh, address and, and talk to and, and, and have the media do as much coverage on this uh, as, 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 as much as possible so we can reach as, as many Canadians as possible to hopefully plant a positive seed uh, so that some of the uh, perceptions that uh, they might have had could change, and some of the attitudes could change. I believe that Canada is a very compassionate and caring country, uh, so it's not that we don't live in a good country. It's just a lot of Canadians just don't know enough information about uh, uh, organ uh, donations and transportation. Yeah, it's basically the, the, the lack of uh, knowledge to this subject uh, that's, that's causing this problem. Uh, perhaps you could uh, let us know a little bit about yourself. You uh, received your liver uh, transplant in uh, August of 95, I believe, and you uh, started a, uh, a trek at that time shortly afterwards uh, in 97 from Toronto to Ottawa. And perhaps you could tell us a little bit about that and how this all uh, transpired into 1999 at the end of the millennium. Okay. Uh, well, it began really after my operation. I, I really didn't think I was going to make it. Uh, the odds were all against me in making it. I didn't give up hope, though. Uh, and when I did receive uh, my transplant, I was out of the uh, hospital in 10 days, and I was throwing the ball around in a month. And I just had this extreme desire to say thank you. And I didn't know exactly what to do. Uh, a couple of years later, I think it was on a week's plan, I decided to walk from Toronto to Ottawa to uh, thank the uh, donor family and, and to light uh, 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 make a wish in the eternal flame in Ottawa uh, to, to hope that more uh, people on the waiting list will receive organs. And after that, uh, what developed was step-by-step uh, step and what we're presently doing today. And what we're presently doing is, is something incredible. Hats off to you, George. I think uh, it's an amazing thing what you're doing. Um, how has the response been by people? What has been the most asked question uh, to you from uh, from people that you've met along your walk? Well, uh, most most Canadians are saying, I signed my donor card. Uh, 
uh, which is true. Most Canadians have signed their donor cards, but here's what most Canadians don't know, that um, at, at a hospital, when somebody passes away, it, the, the family makes the decision, uh, regardless of whether the donor card is signed or not. And uh, you know the uh, hospital officials ask the family about the uh, uh, organ donation, and 60% of the time, when the card is signed, the family vetoes it. Uh, and uh, this is what a lot of Canadians didn't know. Um, and so, you know, the, the most often asked question is, uh, well, what can we do about that? Uh, well, what could be done about that is, first of all. Uh, you know, we, we try and encourage people to talk to their family as much as they can about their wishes and that they, their wish be carried out. And uh, the things that we could do about this is we can look at several things that are working in other countries. And one of them is uh, something called uh, presumed really consent, which uh, other countries are enjoying at this point. And that would be that uh, it would be presumed that you are going to donate your organs unless you state otherwise. And something else that's called mutual uh, consent, which enables the uh, donor family to meet the recipient if they both wish to do so, then it would be uh, possibly arranged. And I think that would be more of an incentive uh, for people to donate the organs to see that their loved ones, they can meet their loved ones and there's sort of a feeling of continuance. Uh, and the other thing is, is that we're hoping to get a national registry where if people made their wish to uh, donate an organ, uh, that it would go on the registry and it would be carried out. Uh, so Nation, nationwide. Nationwide. Uh, so I think these three different uh, uh, areas are, are well, I'm hoping that you know, uh, government, people, and you know, communities are going to look at this. And I think this, we look at them and make some changes and adjust to uh, some of the ways that the other countries are enjoying a much yeah, this summer, uh, actually, uh, more success for uh, saving people's lives, I think we'll be able to do the same thing. So uh, this is part of this walk is that I'm trying to uh, uh, make every community aware of this. And I wouldn't be able to have done this uh, just on my bus alone. I, I, I can't tell you how grateful I am that all the uh, media, uh, papers, radios, newspapers, uh, the radio, uh, television stations uh, have enthusiastically uh, come on board to help uh, bring this uh, message to, to people. Well, it's a very uh, worthwhile cause, and it's, uh, it's it's an amazing thing that you're doing, and uh, hats off to you. And I hope that uh, a lot of people uh, are more aware of the fact of uh, donating organs, signing donor cards, uh, giving family consent, and so on to uh, transplant uh, patients and uh, what have you. It's a very worthwhile cause, George, and you should be commended. Uh, you started this in June, and uh, we're in August. How much more have you got to go? Well, I'll look at my uh, kilometer. I always do that whenever I uh, get a chance to stop here. So far, I've uh, walked a thousand. One thousand ninety-one point four kilometers. So we've got a, a little ways to go. Uh, about nine hundred and nine kilometers left. And I have to tell you that it's downhill from here. The, the first month was actually the tough one. Uh, I, I, the weather was really unkind. Uh, I had scorchers that were the, my water bottle, bottle actually melted in my hand. Uh, and I had uh, electrical storms following me, it looked like. And I, I had uh, mosquitoes that must have been from another planet. <laughs> they were hungry. They were hungry. <laughs> and I, I think they, they especially like the Italian bugs. Yeah. So, well, God, God be with you, and uh, thanks very much uh, for, for so much yeah. that you're doing for, to raise awareness for this. Uh, with me, George Marcello, liver transplant recipient on his... Uh, step-by-step 2000k -step walk across Ontario. In Collingwood, reporting for Plugged In, I'm Mike Chapman. All right. Thanks a lot, Thanks. George. Go ahead. Well, here we are in Collingwood. I'm driving by, and I've been thinking about George for the past two weeks. Thinking, how is George, how is Joe, how is the crew, how they're doing? Lo and behold, driving through the Main Street, and there he is, <laughs> Joe and George. Way to go guys, I love you both, all the best.